Yes, Cephas. Sir, I must suit you with introduction, but I'll eat You think you're smarter than everyone else, don't you? As for the diagram, it's very pretty, but scientifically erroneous. Really, no, sir? Because I sent it to the Scorpion magazine, and they wiped it off the publisher. No scientific challenge remains greater, more mythical than that of finding the key. Thank you. Sir, I'm the leader and order from Montana. I accept the challenge. You do. In order to finish my project and get out of St. Grace's place. Hello? I would like to speak to T.S. Phillips. what Mozart is to music. T.S. Spivet, just 10 years old, and he has sprinted ahead of legions of scientists. Let's speak with Mrs. G.H. Gibson, please. I'm supposed to give a speech tomorrow night. What's your name? T.S. Spivet. You are T.S. Spivet, or your father is T.S. Spivet? I am T.S. Spivet. Can I help you, young man? I'm T.S. Spivet. I need a cure. You're the one I talked to on the phone last Friday. Yes. So who sent me the prototype of the magnetic ring? I did. What, you expect me to believe that you invented it? I just transposed the principle of an electron gravitating around the nucleus to simulate its perpetual motion. It would require the creation of a negative entropy. This can't be. How old are you? Ten? This defies all understanding. Superior mental activity. Hmm. You could train him like a highly intelligent seal. But you don't invent the perpetual movement machine. Thanks for evaluating my brain, Judy. I want to be the first to congratulate you. What was your first invention? Do you think your parents will be proud of you? Oh, yeah. Did you ever think that you'd find another suitable candidate? Is that you, Tim? Submit. <laughs> I invite you to show him all the respect he deserves despite his young years. Ladies and gentlemen, D.S. Spivet. <laughs> <laughs> 